Bitch, I used to make 20 grand a month legally. Oh, Think I want to fuck you and him? No, man. Cheap nose, bitch. And my fucking nose got a hole nigga in here. I had to get the police involved. Y'all scan on the fucking news. Yeah, I do. That's my constitutional rights. It's my personal phone. Fucking cheap ass, bitch. Got a nigga in my house who wanted for armed robbery. That's the old breakup fucking car. Break ass, nigga. Bitch, I used to make 20 grand a month legally. Think I want to fuck you and him? No, man. Yes, up. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey, 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 all right boom because y'all got me messed up this place is my place paid by me for me here go the lease agreement my name now that that's cleared up let's move forward me and this dude been together for a while now 2017 december and it didn't even take long until boom there he go there on the right looking like a goon in a family picture that is not his family but his baby mama the baby he had on me while we was together anyway next here go the marriage certificate there go the receipts again. I found this out last year in November or whatever. When I found this out, he begged her to call me. Um, was trying to get on a group call with me, but I wasn't on that run. Um, and that's when I checked out. City girls activated. Let's not forget that this nigga is a scammer. Buying prostitutes in Miami. Now, that's what I call a dirty bongi. Clearly, by these conversations, y'all can see that I am not on this dude run. Here go. I said I was single. Stop calling me, bro. That's why I call the police. You pull up with your cousin, your little cousin. For anybody who don't know this dude, his name is Lil AJ. Y'all probably know him for stealing and scamming, too. Anyway, he was pulling on my door. First of all, how you pulling up with this boy who steal $30,000 from me when he was his cousin? Wow. That's a lot of family drama. Anyway, you really should have stayed off my property. You weird as hell. Now let's get back to this fool. After a marriage, two kids. You could tell me two weeks ago you got another kid. Well, mother free is what you telling me this for you ain't my dude bro you're not my dude anyway these dudes just don't stop like when does it end clearly he was pressed because why you even telling me all this you mean my nigga i'm your gal just my place you do whatever you want to do anyway here go the man of the hour Ladies, beware. He is a con artist. He is a scammer. He is a liar. He is a cheater. He gets married behind your back. And the worst thing of it all, he plays victim. This man is clearly hurt. To go to the extent of hiring a private investigator for your ex. That's weird. You really should have had the video of you walking out this house with your five shirts and your three shoes which you leave here with oh on your tv which you say you buy you look so pitiful but guess what all is worth it calm as a bitch now, please don't get me started on how you sell my credit card just so you could make 50 bucks man let me attach the fraud oh please quit playing with me this was filed when we were together a whole time it was him it was him selling my debit card. Look at this shit. $2,300 on Express. 
Who does that to their girlfriend? And y'all are kiki kiki again? Anyway, last laugh. Anyway, that man you heard yesterday with that video of me is not the victim. I actually am. He's just mad that I moved on. And he's hurt, man. But hey, what could you do? Furthermore, I know this man slip. He probably would post up in my bank account and me saying I ain't got no money. Yeah, nigga. That's the game. Get the fuck. You really think I could keep my money in a place where you would be hacking on a regular? Anyway, if you don't believe me, believe Google. His name is Andre Cleto Spence Jr. Andre, stop playing with me. Get over it.